Hey everyone, I'm Alex from 3763 Piece of Cake, or a team for Dana, Minnesota, and here, and I'll be talking about this uh, neural network limelight sample detection. So if you want to intro on, on the limelight, which is a camera, go to Eric's video on that, but if you want neural networks um, intro slash tutorial, watch here. Okay, so first type in this URL on the screen right here. Then after you get here, scroll down until you see neural network pipelines and then training custom detection model. That's where we are right now. Scroll down until you get to RoboFlow. Yeah, I get the data set first. You click on RoboFlow right there. You gotta sign in. New project, object detection. Click on that, call it e I'm just calling it yellow sample. That's the project that we're gonna call, that I'm gonna do. Yellow sample. Now, uh, keep in mind this has to be all one word, all lowercase. Then you click on object detection. Uh, create public project. Now here, you want to take a picture of your sample. So in this case, I, I took I think 12 pictures of, of this yellow sample right here, and I emailed it to myself. So what I do is I go to each one, download it, download it, download, 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 download. Download. Download, download, download. Now that we have that, you basically just go to your download, which is my file explorer right here. Um, go click, click on downloads. Here we go. We got all these images. You got to make it a partial screen, and you can drag and drop. It's that simple. Or you can just go up there too. Okay, now that you have that, I have my nine sample right here. My, net, my nine sample of, uh, photos here. So what you do here is you go into each one, you click on it, um, and, and you want to annotate it. So you press the polygon tool, you go here, you go to basically all of it, just to like know that that's like when you're gonna train the AI, AI that it's picking up on the sample, not the background. You gotta do that if, if you want to touch that, you press this button right here and just make sure it's all um, up to par. Oh shoot, I don't want to move it like that. I meant to, you know, just kind of touch each end, push each end and push it closer to, to the edges a little bit more. Like that. Then after that, you press, um, you, you just press this back arrow and now it shows that it's annotated. So you go through each one, do that, do that. Basically, you just go here, you click on each of the ends that you want to annotate. Like that, as you can probably see. Then you just go through all of your data points. So after you have your data set on a RoboFlow and annotated, you go, you press save and continue. Continue. Now it's going to upload in files. It takes a little bit. You processing, continue, 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 create. It does this a little bit. Just going to wait for it to, you know, load. Now you can download this data set. So what you do is you press download the data set. It has to be a TensorFlow TFR record. Download zip to computer. Continue. So now I just downloaded it. 
So now, if we read this this, this um, second part of the documentation, it tells you that you need to um, put this into your Google Drive. So you go to your drive right here, which I have pulled up right here. Search it up. You should go be able to go to it. You go to your File Explorer. You go, you go to um, Downloads right here. Hold up. Downloads. Yellow sample uh, T flight record zip file. That should be the correct one. And you just just make sure it's that when you you drag and drop that in, into your Google Drive. Then you can click on this. And it's like I like, like to copy this just just for later. So you control C, copy that. Now you go to your documentation, and there's this link um, right here called. Glenn Light Detector Training Notebook. You want to click on that. Now here you in your notebook, you want to run all these code, all this code. So once you're in this link that you just clicked on right there, you just run the, this. You see this install. You want to collapse that and you run this first block. Uh, run anyways. Catch without GPU. It still works that way, so it doesn't really matter if you, did, if you have some sort of GPU or something. Okay, it's cloning the models. This takes up to two minutes per each um, cell, so just keep that in mind. Okay, that took 14 seconds. That was pretty. That was pretty quick. Then I click on the second cell right here. This is just, yeah, that will go super fast. Now you want to click on install. So this one usually takes maybe two, two and a half, three minutes to do. We just executed these few lines. So now we're down here. So this is the testing of the first three. You just skip that. That's just kind of like a waste of time right now. So don't do that. Now we can get drive from Google. So, so you gotta click this button, uh, connect to Google Drive. Yep, that's me. Um, yep, click your account, continue, scroll down, continue, so now, so now, um, it should be going, yep, mount it to Google Drive, as you can see, now you go down to the run code block, wait for that, that basically what you do is you just, Click that, and you click select. You go, to, go down to Google Drive, My Drive, and you click on your um, zip file that you just put in there. So yellow sample, the FTC core, that zip, select. Now you can unzip changes, so you just press that, which works. Go down there. Yep, great. Now you're at training configuration. You see, just go through all these blocks. Just click it. That worked. Um, hold up. Where, did, where am I? Yep. Go, go down there. These ones usually don't take that much time. This one, yeah, four seconds. That's not bad. Zero seconds, yes. These will go super fast. Now we're in the, the actual train model. So you click on the load, that tensor board, and that stuff. Yep, it launches the tensor board, which basically is just, oh, we'll show you what it is, it's gonna load it. It's basically this, so when you start training it, you just press this reload button, and you, and you can see the little charts about the learning time. You click on these. That just kind of gets you ready to trade. And then, then this is the actual trade block. This does 40,000 calculations at a rate of maybe about 10 per second. So that usually takes about an hour to an hour and a half to do. So you click this, and now just wait for it to load in. Okay, so after you train your AI model right here, um, scroll down to invert model to T-Flight. So you press that. And that basically is just taking all the information from the AI training model and turning it into a T-Flight model.
So this should take maybe about a minute or so to do that. Okay, now that's done, we're going to go to the export graphs. It just takes all that stuff and then turns into a graph, basically. So this should take this about the same time, around the same time. So these take a little bit of time because there's a lot of, uh, of um, computing power that goes into it because it just takes a whole bunch of AI um, training stuff and it's trying to convert it into a file. So this should take about a minute or so to just get all that information and convert it into like the right files. Okay, now so we're gonna go to quantize model, do that. That's pretty quick. We're gonna press this one too, just do that. Amazing. Now we gotta um, do the T flight converter. So you take all my images I just took and turn it in and, and then um, basically just converting it into the correct stuff it needs for the next few steps. Okay, we finished that. We're going to go to compile everything. So we're just going to install all of that. Great. Run this block. Now we're going to zip everything. It's basically just take, this just takes all the information and puts it all into a zip file. Now we're gonna download it to my computer. So that zip file right here is just, it's just gonna be downloaded to my file explorer on my computer. So, it's here, like here you go, it's, it's downloading. So after that bar gets here, it's gonna be fully downloaded and, and then we can put it into the limelight. Okay, okay. After you've downloaded your zip file that you just made up here, you, go, you should go to file explorer, downloads, Limelight detectors one. If you have, uh, if you have like read us multiple times, it should say like two, three, or four about how like how many zip files you made. But I just made one, so it's just limelight detectors one. So you want to right click here, extract all, extract, replace files at this destination. There you go, and now you got it. content, final output, you got all the stuff. So if you go to your landmark detectors, it starts an input, so you press configuration. The default setting is coral, but since we don't have a coil right here, you switch it to CPU. Then you can you click upload. So this is the T-flight model. So if you click upload, 
here you go. You want to upload the 8-bit file right here. Not the 32-bit, the, the 8-bit file. So you press that, open, and it worked. Looks like that worked good. But now you want to upload also the labels file. So you click upload. Limelight Neural Network labels, and it should be a text document. So you click that and open. It worked. So now I have a yellow sample right in front of me. And it sees it pretty well. If I switch it, it still sees it. If I go on top, it can still see it too.